Hi traders, I've been officially kicked out of my office because my kids wanted their own room. Now I'm in a dungeon. Let me give you a quick tour. I live on the side of a hill. The main part of the house is up there and down here we've got two rooms which I've been able to use and convert into my trading dungeon. Come on in. First, do you remember this old thing that I picked up off the side of the road? Well, it's still here. I'm still adding ambiance. I'm not going to throw it away. It's still pretty good. And down here, um, this was just in storage, but it's so beautiful. And unfortunately, I don't actually play guitar, but until I do this room up a little bit more, um, it can be serving as beautiful ambiance. I'm a big fan of sticky notes. Even though there's plenty of apps out there and computers, I find sticky notes the best in terms of gets, getting my head in order and sorting out my to-do list. I've got three here lids, um, just random IKEA lids from containers that I'm not using at the moment. One is my work to-do list. This is my projects and this is my personal. And I've just got random stuff on there and when and when, I've got them horizontal because Sticky notes are a terrible in terms of stickiness. You can see these ones are really peeling, but because they're horizontal, they're not less likely to get lost. Assuming the kids don't come in here and just rip everything apart and throw everything in the bin, but that's always a risk I'm happy to take. On my desk, the first thing I have is my Kindle. I love it. It's great in terms of self-improvement, always reading books on psychology, trading to and try and improve myself in all aspects of my life. My desk setup is not fancy. I don't have a six screen, seven screens like you see some other Forex traders. First, because I'm a robot trader, so I don't need all those six screens. But the way I've set it is quite efficient. So this monitor here is connected to my work laptop and connected to this main YouTube PC that I've got. I've put this thing called, this thing right here, it's called a USB sharing switch. It's super cool. With that button, I only need to have one keyboard and one mouse. And when I press the switch, uh, it will switch between my keyboard and mouse between different PCs. So I press it, can it be connected to my work laptop? I press it again, it'll be connected to my personal laptop. Now this is the cheap one that I've got here. The inputs, um, you can see my webcam, mouse and keyboard are inputs and outputs. I've got one PC, but there are more expensive versions where you can connect HDMI's in there as well. So you can, can do the switch between HDMI's or you can have like more computers. You can have like four to six computers depending on how you want your setup. But then you, that means you don't have to have so many monitors, so many um, mice and keyboards. All you need is that one switch. It is super cool. I think this one cost me about $20, $30. So um, super affordable as well. I'm definitely not a handy person by any standards, but I have managed to build myself this super cool um, wooden desk just with a few pieces of wood lying around to elevate my monitor. Also, this massive monstrosity uh, which holds my two PCs. And this is my test PC and this is my YouTube PC. And if I sneak in the middle, ah, there you can see that's my... Um, external hard drive, it's a uh, solid state disk and it holds one terabyte of data for the tick data connected to my test PC. Going down, you can see if I've built this slidey inny outy thingy um, with another keyboard if I wanted to um, use this PC manually without having to use Google remote uh, desktop to sign in. And down here I've got another slidey thing and this is my test. Uh, laptop, it's not that great, um, but it holds and runs a few MT4 terminals um, that I'm testing at the moment. You can see here I've just got um, Waka Waka in front and there's about 16 other EAs running behind the scenes. And before I go, you can see I've added wheels to this, so I can wheel, move it back and forth, um, which I'm going to do now, so you can see the behind, behind the scenes of this. It is a little bit squeezy and tight here. I did want to show you how I've got my cables. So this is just a power board on a nail up the top and a um, cable wire here. I don't like having things on the floor. So I've just had, um, I've just tied this to the pole that I've got to, to keep everything off. And on the other side, I've got another, uh, if you can see it, another power board here. 
um, just to keep it. I know it looks a bit messy, but in reality, it's neat, okay? It's neat. One more thing I wanted to show you is this power line adapter. It is connected to the wall. You can see here and underneath, you can see my network cable in there. So what that does is gives me internet without needing a um, wireless router. Upstairs, there is um, a partner adapter for this and it's connected to my modem. So down here, I just plug it into a um, power box socket on the wall and that's all, that's, uh, that's all I do. Um, and it gives me internet. Um, so I, there's no wires hanging about everywhere. It is fantastic. It's neat, okay? <laughs> In the front, I recently bought these two YouTube lights, which was quite expensive, um, which I don't really use because I prefer the natural light just coming through the window. I find that it's not, there's no lights on at the moment. Uh, I so much prefer natural light than um, this. I'll just use it maybe in winter when it's a bit sad and dreary. And I've just put these two floating shelves in for a bit more ambiance with one real plant and one fake plant. Um, this wall still a bit bare, so I'll try and find something to dress it up for my next YouTube videos. My trading setup is pretty modest compared to others. I've got my one PC here. This is my YouTube PC, so it doesn't count. And my laptop down there, which you've seen before. And one VPS in the cloud where my live accounts run. Um, these two PCs, that's where my test runs. Um, there's about 100, 100 to 150 EAs running on them at any time. Um, and that's enough for me for now as a part-time robot trader. I don't have six, seven screens, as you can see from some other traders, because I'm a robot trader. I'm not a manual trader. I don't need to see all the different markets at one time. All you need is really one screen. I had have been excessive with my two monitors, but really you only need the one screen. And as long as you've got FX Blue, a portfolio that manages all your EAs, that's all you need. This is a bit of a fancy setup. Um, but I really did want to level up my robot training um, and do YouTube at the same time. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes of what my dungeon looks like and how I've set it up to maximize the current resources without having to go into a billion screens, a billion mice and um, keyboards. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for some bloopers. Bye.